are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Labor Day, Monday, September 7th. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather stays dry for the first half of this week, while out west our friends in parts of the Rockies will see their first big snow of the season after near record-breaking heat. Here we go. This is the upper air look today across the country. And we'll be watching a trough digging down across the Rockies over the next 24 hours. But the main westerlies are north of here for now. But we've still got a pretty nice air mass and a dry air mass. That was the radar this morning. Nothing really across the entire southeast United States. And feels good. Little touch of fall in the air. Seeing some 50s for Cullman and Aniana. Birmingham at 65. Highs today should be in the upper 80s. The sky will be sunny. Another really nice day today. It's been a great Labor Day weekend. Here's the watch warning map around the country. And out west, they've got uh, everything from winter storm warnings to excessive heat warnings. How about that for some contrasting weather? Excessive heat for much of California. Uh, winter storm watches and warnings for parts of Colorado, Wyoming, and Montana. And freeze warnings for parts of Minnesota and North Dakota. As you can tell, we're starting to see the change of the seasons up there. Got a marginal risk of severe storms north of the state. We'll be quiet today. Uh, this is tomorrow, and this is Wednesday. No severe storms expected and probably not much thunder across the country. Rain for the next seven days. The really big numbers west of the state, from Texas up into the Midwest. In Alabama, basically no rain for the northern third of the state. I do think we'll see a few scattered showers later this week, though, and amounts down to the south under a quarter inch. This is an average look valid through the weekend ahead. All right, tropical fans, two new depressions on the board that formed yesterday. TD-17 and TD-18. 18 is just coming off the coast of Africa. Let's start with the lead system. This is Tropical Depression 17. It's out there about 42 west. And uh, this is not moving very quickly. Uh, it's going to stay far from land. And it's going to start to gain latitude late this week, and most likely it stays a tropical storm. That's the forecast from the Hurricane Center. This is modeling off the GFS Ensemble for TD number 17, and you can see how uh, most members, not all, but most of them, turn this north far before reaching the United States, and I think that's plausible with the weakness in the ridge expected to build out there. And in terms of strength, uh, it's going to be... Uh, encountering some shear. It's got dry air around the system. Most likely this stays a tropical storm for five days. Bottom line is not too worried about this one. The other is TD-18. Uh, this will likely become a hurricane, a minimal hurricane, a Category 1 late this week, according to the Hurricane Center forecast. And again, notice it begins to gain latitude. This is modeling off the GFS Ensemble. All the members uh, turn this north. So again, this will uh, most likely recurve far, far from land. And the intensity guidance on 18, uh, some of the models do bring it up to a minimal Category 1 hurricane. But again, this won't even be close to uh, the United States. And here's the five-day outlook. We're also watching that little uh, feature near Bermuda. Uh, a low chance of developing as it drifts towards the west-northwest, back toward the coast of North Carolina. Just something to watch for now. But the good news for the Gulf of Mexico, very quiet for the next five days. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS, the 06 C run, 4 o'clock today, troughing to the north, a dry air mass, a beautiful Labor Day, sunny with highs in the upper 80s. Tomorrow, here comes that snowstorm, the upper low digging down into Utah and Colorado. Classic September snow event for them. But for us, we're still dry for the northern half of the state, mostly sunny, upper 80s, maybe a few isolated showers down south, but probably not many. Wednesday, still looking quiet here. Still snowing in Colorado. This is Thursday. Again, I, you know, there could be a few isolated showers, but most locations uh, dry. Highs mid to upper 80s. And Friday, we'll mention a chance of scattered showers statewide. Mid to upper 80s, partially sunny. Saturday is the weekend begins. And again, the trough axis, you know, the models trended this way last, late last week. You know, first about... Seven days ago, they advertised a big push of cool air that would be in here about this point. Well, they backed off on that idea, obviously. We're still in moist air. So for Saturday, a mix of sun and clouds with scattered showers and storms, highs in the 80s, and the same thing on Sunday. And not a washout, but scattered showers around. 
And a week from today, this is Monday the 14th, we've got a, a little ridge sitting on top of the Gulf Coast. And again, evidence of a few scattered showers for the southern two-thirds of the state. Let's go out 10 days. This is Wednesday of next week, the 16th. Another ridge building back in the west. They're going to go from heat to snow to heat again. Uh, broad troughing in the northeast. And for us, again, maybe a few scattered showers. Rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. The mean, about one and a half inches. Some of the members are up to three and a half. So a lot of uncertainty there. Highs off the national blend of models, around 90 this week. Then back in the mid-80s next week. And the CPC outlook, September 14th through the 20th, showing temperatures here could be a little below average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. We are on a holiday schedule today, just one video today, back to the two-a-days tomorrow. And if you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no-interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.